Today, I've got two of the biggest trailer manufacturers here in the UK, Extreme Trailers and SBS Trailers. And I'm gonna be putting both of these head to head, comparing their flagship custom bunk trailers, giving you the lowdown of everything you need to know. So hit the subscribe button and let's get into the video. So first of all, guys, let me start by saying I've paid for both of these trailers. It's my unbiased review, having used both of these for a number of months now, and I've had dealings with both Extreme and SBS, so this is about as unbiased as I can make this, guys. So here we have Extreme's 350 fully custom bunk trailer. And here we have SBS's fully custom JS500B bunk trailer. If you wanna see a detailed review of both of these trailers, then watch these videos here. But today is about me giving you my verdict, having now used both of these trailers for months now. So at first glance, you might be looking at both of these trailers going, Joe, they look very similar. But if you look closely, they both have different details. Both of these trailers are around the same sort of footprint in size, and they both accommodate up to around a three meter craft. This SBS has a total max weight capacity, lifting capacity of 350 kilos, but that comes at the cost of being a bit fatter, a bit heavier at 150 kilos. Whereas Extreme's max load capacity is 255. However, it's a slightly lower total weight of 95 kilos. Both of these trailers are hot dip galvanized before the powder coat is applied over the top. Both trailers are unbraked trailers. Both trailers have adjustable winch post with supporting winch. Both trailers come with a standard road jockey wheel. However, you can upgrade on both brands to a sand tire. Both trailers have carpet bunks and tilt adjustability. <laughs> Quite tight. <laughs> both trailers come with a standard seven pin light board. Both trailers use a rubber torsion suspension axle. However, Extreme have sealed bearings, whereas SBS use taper roller bearings. But that really is where the similarities end. First main difference is Extreme use this fully modular design, which allows you to adjust pretty much anything on this trailer. Whereas SBS use a more traditional welder design, meaning more pieces are actually fixed in place and then only certain aspects, like for example, this draw bar and the winch post can be adjusted. A great example of Extreme's modularity, as you can see here, is I'm actually changing out the bunk assembly for what's called a roller bank assembly because in certain scenarios, different setups suit different holes. So if you can have one trailer that does multiple things and the parts are interchangeable, that's a huge deal. In my experience having used both of these trailers, the Extreme offers you way more versatility in the way you can set it up for different hole sizes. I find with the SPS, the fact that these cross members are welded in position stops you independently being able to adjust the actual bunk positions. So I've got to say, Extreme the clear winners if you want a trailer that can suit any hole size, particularly the 90 smaller skis. The next biggest difference is the powder coated finish on both of these trailers. Now, whilst on paper, both of these trailers technically offer a powder coated finish, if you look closely at Extreme, I would say the quality and finishing is slightly better. When I said Extreme's powder coating quality is better, a key reason for this is they've gone one step further with the way that they actually use fixings in relation to the powder coating. Extreme have CNC design and cut these ingenious U-bolt protectors, which help minimize the actual marking of the U-bolt into the powder coat finish. So trust me, this is a game changer and a big deal, as what typically happens is the U-bolts will bite into to the powder coat and that becomes your set position without these protectors. These protectors spread the surface area, therefore allowing me to move around the U-bolts, minimizing the actual markings being left behind. Whereas, sorry, SBS, you're gonna hate me, but if you look closely, because you don't have the protectors, you can already see the little chips and bite marks where the U-bolt is essentially biting into the powder coat. Now, I'm not saying SBS powder coating is bad, but by comparison, I've already had considerable amount more chips and cracks on my SBS versus my Extreme, meaning I've already had to do powder coat repairs. This to me looks as if the gal has potentially not been gassed out correctly. If you're interested in learning more about powder coating, then watch this detailed video here. These little details are possible because Extreme have got a CNC machine in house, meaning all of these little parts are really easy to make. Whereas from what I've seen with SBS's setup, they use traditional metal fabrications. So that would literally mean a poor guy, bless him, literally cutting these out by hand, which just isn't practical in the sort of batch to mass production of these trailers. As standard, Extreme trailers come fully powder coated, including all of the ancillary bracketry and parts. Whereas with SBS, whilst this example is fully powder coated, you can see the red winch post and the actual fender bracketry and the uprights for the bunk. That is actually going to cost you extra as by default, they only coat the main frame. If you want uprights like this powder coat, that's going to cost you extra. Whereas with Extreme, that's inclusive of the price. 
Extreme also coat this axle. The axle is the one part that can't be coated due to the press suspension rubber inside the axle. If you were to put it into the oven, it would melt. However, instead of leaving the axle standard galvanization, Extreme coat it in a hard wearing durable black paint. Meaning when you look at the trailer, you don't see any galvanization, which means you don't break up the aesthetic of the design. Currently, SBS don't coat their axles with standard. Now I don't know if you can pay extra, but I do know for a fact Extreme has specifically designed their own coating with a good adhesion over the galvanized axle. Next up, and is a big consideration for me, and that's the level of consideration for the ancillary supporting color-coded parts. On the SBS side, you have a choice of a black or orange winch strap and a black snubber block. And then with the lightboard bar knobs, you either have a standard silver like this, or they alternatively have this orange. And with the lightboard straps, they come with this black and orange little end. Whereas with Extreme, they injection mold all of their parts in house. So you have six choices of colors off the rack. And on request, you can actually have these molded in a different color. Their lightboard straps, they even do these in a nice red. Extreme are currently the only trainer manufacturer that injection mold all of their own parts, such as this little snubber block and kiln roller in house. Extreme even offer six colors on your actual strap for your winch to match all of those pretty other ancillary parts. Now, obviously I could buy some extreme parts and fit them to this SBS, but A, I don't think SBS would probably like that. And B, I wanted to show you guys how these trailers come direct from manufacturer. Ultimately, in terms of color customization in full package, I think Extreme have just gone a little bit further with the considerations how everything hangs together. I think it's fair to say, if you configured a red trailer, but you can only spec black and ancillary parts, that's a missed opportunity. So that's the key main differences, but I quickly want to whiz through some small subtle details, which I think make a big difference. Extreme lightboard bars actually slide into the main box section. As such, you get that nice clean aesthetic. Extreme bars are also powder coated as standard versus SBS where they've actually welded on this extra bit of box section. As such, you see the end of the loose lightboard bars. SBS use the same sticker on their smaller bunk as they do on their larger box section. As such, the sticker doesn't actually fit the box section, so you get this annoying flapping around. The sticker is also a black color, which isn't a perfect color match to the powder coated frame. Whereas Extreme have opted for this nice contrasting silver sticker, which is actually the right size for the frame. SBS use a traditional metal fabrication. Now, what that actually means is this is strips of metal that have been cut and then bent. So as a result, you don't get the nice refined edges and the aesthetics not quite as nice as the rounded details you see on Extreme. I must stress, SBS are a great brand and they've got a long standing history. And my personal dealings with them as a brand, they were really professional, good, nice customer service, and they were accommodating to my trailer needs. I have to be honest, on a product level, as it currently stands, having owned both of these trailers, Extreme just have a little bit more of a refined product and most importantly, importantly, a more durable powder coated finish. Now, what I would say in SBS's defense, having watched both brands closely over the last year, SBS undoubtedly are trying to catch up extreme. Most recently at the NEC Boat Life, SBS launched a new hydro dip concept. And whilst probably practically speaking, hydro dip is not the future and it's a flawed concept, it does show that SBS are trying new R&D concepts. In addition, I saw that they introduced their color rollers. Now, whilst they're actually buying in these roller colors, it still shows that they're trying to offer that level of customization extreme are. However, the challenge for SBS, as it currently stands, Extreme probably still have the upper hand because they have that injection molding capability in house. They have six colors off the shelf and they can mold in any color versus buying it in from a third party supplier. So it's not that I'm intentionally harsh on SBS, but as it currently stands, Extreme are just ahead in terms of color customization, CNC machines, modularity, and the powder coated finish, which all add up for you as the consumer as a more refined product. So would I recommend both of these trailers? 100%, both are great trailers, but if I had to pick one, it would be extreme. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you wanna learn more about each of these trailers independently, then give these videos a watch. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If there's any trailer manufacturers or custom trailers that I've missed and you want me to review, then put it in the comments below. And as always, thank you. Your support means the world. Making these videos ultimately helps amplify the skis. These customized trailers really make your skis look next level. So whichever way you go, you're not gonna be disappointed. Guys, hit the subscribe button, and as always, let's keep the classics alive.